So these are, these are sandaling. They're the one you the one that sort of rolls up in front of you along the beach as you walk along along the tide line, yes. looking very white in the winter. That's when they come back in the spring, they come through in May, and they'll have all their lovely red summer plumage on the back, and they'll be beautifully red on the back and yes. neck and head. Yeah, but at the moment, the, the winter plumage is this glorious white plumage. fail to complete their annual molt because we know that if many of them come mid-November are still in wing molt or have actually given up molting their wing feathers, that's changing their feathers for their once annual change, mm -hmm. um, that that's an indicator that they're in trouble right. and we can feed that back straight away to say there is an issue here looming. Mm. Um, so we very much interact uh, with both the sea fisheries side of things, but also with English nature uh, and everybody else who needs to know, so that we can get the right management strategy in the long term mm. for the whole of the wash. Right, involved um, in that way with, say for instance, local planning issues that might come up that may possibly affect... Uh, occasionally, um, we don't get very involved. We have in a few planning issues where we have data that is totally relevant for them. Yes. Um, and then normally English Nature or RSPB or whoever thinks it's appropriate will come to us and say, there's this issue, will your data help us? And if it, if it will, then we will do what we can to help either ourselves because we're all working in our spare time, it's limited. Sometimes we will pass the data over um, to, to be analysed um, you know, by a consultant or whatever. Um, or, or sometimes the, the BTO will analyse that data. You know, it's done very much on a case-by-case -case basis. And populations are increasing on the wash and others are declining a bit over time. Um, and you know there there are real problems along the flyway that these birds have to go along, and they need a really good environment here to spend the winter, because this is uh, one of the most important sites in Western Europe for these birds, um, and they're going right up to the Arctic. Some of them breed in Arctic Siberia, others in Greenland, and right across into northern Canada. And some of the birds come here and only stop for two or three weeks and then go right on down to South Africa. Incredible. Uh, uh, it's amazing. You know, for a bird that weighs 50 grams, yes. to be able to do that, um, yeah, and they come here and in two or three weeks they double their body weight and then they're off on the next stage. If the conditions aren't right and they can't put on that weight, then they don't survive. No, but the wash is crucial yes, to, their, absolutely. to their life. Yeah. Yeah.